Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn which configuration files are important in the development life cycle. So here we have the ecl.xml for the permissions, config.xml for load configurations that is in stores configuration that we are creating, cron tab for running in cron job, right, which uh, you have to define at that time this cron will run, then you will set it, then it will run it accordingly, right, di.xml for overriding, right, and uh, email templates for the same events.xml uh, this is for basically whenever you have some magento has inbuilt events so whenever you have any order is placed that is an event when a product is added that is an event so if you want that event to be over before that you want to perform some of the actions then you can use the events.xml indexer.xml for magento indexes module.xml for registering any kind of module any module that is the first main step view.xml same as the config.xml and but it is used to specify the default values for the design configuration web api xml configure api and the routes and widget xml for creating the widgets right so this is basically <coughs> a configuration files all these basic files but mostly we are using acl config.xml cron tab for the di.xml very important events we are using and uh, rest uh, um, that's for the API you can use it right but this is the main one if I go to this directory structure if I this is the etc I have copied this so this is ACL for the permissions right here we have config.xml for configurations if I go and open this one here so you can see journal things are written over here right default values whenever when, whenever you go to the Magento admin and you will you have the configuration list of file in the system.xml so you will check that it is already predefined or pre-selected so if you want that this is the default configurations of that of my module so you need to bypass it in the config.xml file right di.xml basically for the uh, like overriding events.xml if you want to override any kind of events that we have like uh, sales order observer after placed order observer after account is created or after login so these are kind of the observers that you want to use over it and do it accordingly right extension attributes.xml basically this is a new one concept that is uh, whenever you have the uh, data interface in your any of the core module so you can extend that attributes without creating any kind of column in the data table database right so this is a new concept of extension attributes that you can create a column into the database with the help of this one right module.xml this is for the registration of your module into your magento core files right so hope you understand the basic uh, basic configurations files that we are discussing okay so i hope you understand the <coughs> configuration files which are important in the development cycle thank you so much for watching this video have a great day